So we're just going to finish off this uh, question, uh, number 8 from page 47 of your textbook, page 147 of your textbook. Uh, I've already gone and completed the graph here, just the, uh, the axes. So again, I put my temperature in Celsius on the y-axis, temperature in Fahrenheit on the x-axis, because you have independent on x, dependent on y. Then you have your title, temperature versus uh, temperature. So you could see Celsius versus Fahrenheit, or temperature in degrees Celsius versus temperature in Fahrenheit. Usually, um, you don't really want to have those units in your title. You want to just make sure you have, um, it, if it makes it more specific, you can write temperature in Celsius versus temperature in Fahrenheit. Uh, either one would be acceptable. Um, so uh, my scale, uh, notice for my y-axis, like I said, I went up by 5. For my x-axis, I decided to go up by 8 because I need to get to at least 100. I could have gone up by 10. Um, I want to use up most of this graph space. So notice that the graph space is really what I defined in this red area here, not the rest of the grid. Um, typically, you want to use up your entire grid, so you probably need more points, so you'd have to go up by a different scale. And you get better at that as you go. Um, there's a video in your notes for how to come up with scale afterwards. Um, but I went up by 8, so 8, 16, 24, 32, 40, 48, 36, 64, um, 72, 80, 88, 96, and then 96 plus 8 is uh, 104. So 104 would be my last value over here. Um, let's get that red ink back out here. Uh, and I can plot my, my data points now. So I'm going to go and choose a different color just so we can see the data points more efficiently. Um, so let's do uh, thir at 32 degrees, we're zero. And I could have probably um, chosen other values to get some negatives, but I just decided to focus on the positives because in this question um, we're asked to estimate once we get to Fahrenheit of 100. And based on my table of values, it looks like as we go up, the, um, the Celsius values go up as well. So they're not going to dip, it's a linear relationship. Um, and then we have 41 and 5. So here's 40, 48 is there, 44 is in the middle. 41 will be just a little bit above, uh, to the right of uh, 40. So about there. Um, and then we have 50, we're at 10. So here's 48, here's 56. Um, so 52 would be there. 50 would be just a little bit beyond the 48. About here, maybe a little bit closer to that line, but about there and you'd be more specific with your pencil of course it's easier than doing this in the computer um, at 59 so plus 8 that's 64 there um, so 60 would be kind of in between so just a little bit uh, to the left of the middle would be at 15 uh, then at 68 so we have 64 here Go up 8, that's 72. So 68 is right in the middle there. We're at 20. And then, um, so I said, yes, plus 9. So then at, uh, at 77, so if we go up by 8, that's 80 there. Four, so 76, so a little bit beyond the middle. We're at 25. And if you had more data points, you could have continued that way. Um, and so what you want to do is you want to connect these dots using a nice ruler. Make sure it's not wavy like my line here because I'm not using a ruler. Yours would be more, much neater than this. Um, and if there was no extension question, I'd probably just add an arrow on here just to show that you could extend the data um, beyond the positives. Uh, you can continue going higher. And you could even go... Um, into the negatives as well if you needed to. But we're asked here to estimate what our temperature would be at 100. So what we could do is we could extend this line, keep it going along the same trajectory there, the same pattern. And you would have a ruler, so you wouldn't be as off as I'm going to be. Um, and I shouldn't have left the graph there. But again, this can continue. Uh, so at 104, we're about here. Um, 100 is in between the 96 and the 104, so just about over here. So this is 35. It looks like we're in between the 35 and the 40, so it looks like we're about at about 37 degrees Celsius. Um, and it doesn't even look like it reaches that. It might even look like 
a better estimate if you're looking at this graph you're not even at 37 degrees um, it looks like you're at about if we're estimating here with that dot we look like we're about at about 36 point something you could say 36.8 36.5 something along those lines there um, degrees celsius and i would say you couldn't even really justify 36.8 usually with a graph like this i'd probably go with 36.5 but the idea is that because of the way i drew drew my graph because my line was a bit off because my dots were off here um, i'm not going to get the greatest estimate i mean I'm pretty close to what I got with my equation. My equation was about 37.78, but I'm still quite far off from that. Um, it does look like it's really getting close to that 37 mark, which is why I went on the higher end of the, beyond the, the um, 36.5, but that's hard to say there. Um, so um, yeah, you can estimate from a graph. Your graph needs to be a really good graph um, with dots drawn appropriately, nice straight line. Um, if you don't have a great graph, your estimate's gonna be far off. Um, so an equation gives you a more specific value, um, especially with limitations of your graph being um, having decimals and, and um, a variety of, and it being continuous data. So with continuous data, there is that bit of a struggle. An equation gets you a more valuable, um, a more specific answer. Uh, again, when you're doing this homework, make sure you take a look at your uh, solutions found on your learning platform. You can see the solutions from the questionnaire over here as well. You can see the work that was done. The table of values here is done horizontally. Usually when a table of values done horizontally, your independence on top, dependence at the bottom of your book kind of flips it sometimes. So you have to make sure you're thinking about what is dependent and what is independent in the, in the question. Um, you can see the graph done here. This is a much better graph than what I did. Um, based on the scale they use, they got a better estimate. They got at 100, they were at about, um, at about 38. So if this, they went up by 16 every time. So when they went up by 16 every time, they were close to about 38 degrees at 100. Um, so notice, depending on how you draw your graph, depending on your scaling, your estimates will be a little bit off. Um, but with a ruler, you would have probably been closer than I was. Uh, again, this was rough work. It was just to show you a general idea of how to do the question. Hopefully that helps. Um, but please make sure you use your solution manuals to check your work because it will help you to improve.